Hi, my name's Jake. I uh, play saxophone, tour around the country, occasionally play bass, occasionally make and sell some music, and uh, what's that other thing? Oh yeah, I also really love fishing. Okay, so by happenstance, I found out about this spot, just uh, uh, scanning YouTube. <laughs> I identified it because of a couple little key markers, so I knew exactly where it was. Out of respect for the guys that fish here, I'm going to keep my mouth shut. Uh, if you know where it is, that's great. Try to keep that on the DL, whatever. But we're dealing with a pretty... Eh, pretty blown out river at this point, but we'll see what we can do here. By the way, the YouTube channel I stumbled upon was called Creeks for Weeks. Uh, and uh, okay. he posted a video last year of catching a muskie when he was looking for a bass uh, on the Allegheny River. This isn't too far away from me. I, like I said, I won't get into specifics, but we're definitely on the Allegheny. And... Uh, yeah, give him a like and subscribe, or just check out his channel, because he's got some pretty cool stuff on there, too. See a lot of good things happen here. Now, you can see I have a tree right out in front of me at this uh, access point, unfortunately. So, <laughs> I might end my day early. But, um, I got my uh, bait caster already, and God willing, that will work. And I... Uh, brought one of my dad's, um, one of the ones he got, I think off of uh, Wish.com, it's a, uh, what is that, Pisco Fun, or Pisky Fun, real, it's uh, 9 to 1 bearings, I'm trying to see if I can find the uh, uh, 5 to 2 to 1 gear ratio, I won't be using that unless I have to, and... <laughs> I might have to. So this is going to be today's uh, lure of choice, Lunker Candy, Spin Master. A lot of flash on that. Very bright, fast moving water. I'm just going to attach it to a swivel snap. I'm hoping that's going to be enough of a leader if I happen to catch anything that would be near a dam like this. So we'll find out. If he pulls it off, we'll know I was wrong. So what I'm doing right now, <laughs> going through all those lures and trying to think of uh, appropriate spots to use them. <sighs> There's a lot, a lot to go through this year, so that's going to be my dilemma, dilemma as the uh, year goes on. And uh, it's actually, yesterday was the opening season for trout. So everyone's out at the lakes. This is Sunday. 
I'm going to hit that those spots up on the weekday when everyone's at work because opening day if you've never been <laughs> you know it's a nightmare if you like just keeping to yourself you know nothing against that everyone comes out with their families has some fun and check the rocks check the rock it's stable <sighs> Now let's set this up. Drag a little bit. And we're on. We're going to put max brakes on. See how we got this balanced up. Nope, still too loose. Tighten up the spool a bit. Still too loose. Uh, that's about right. Back that off just a bit. I can live with that. Here goes nothing. A lot of current right now. This is a uh, the string is a 30 pound cast king picked up off of Amazon. I think it was like 320 some yards for 15 bucks. Couldn't go wrong with that. And I'm daring to be bold with the. Uh, <laughs> Bait caster again. Oh yeah, that current alone is just taking those uh, spinners going to town with them. Trying to get down into those rocks, get some attention there. And from my understanding, with this is lower, you have more access points because you have more rocks exposed. Had a lot of rain over the uh, past couple weeks, so that's why the river's back up to a pretty uh, high level. And that is a rock. I got five pieces of candy. I got a chocolate bar. I got a quarter. I got a rock. Yeah, I was looking at that uh, ugly reel that I had that from the 90s. The uh, braking system is nowhere as sophisticated as these mag modern magnetic brakes. And the spool itself had like a little bit of play in it where it would roll back. So I think that might have actually caused a few of my problems. We'll see. <laughs> so I'm using uh, the factory specs on this Abu Garcia. It's recommending 30 pound braid on it. Makes sense. I mean, 20 pound could virtually pull a uh, tree out of the water. Providing you don't catch a rock where it just snags it and uh, rips it. This is nice though. Nice being back out on the river. There we go. First one of the day. Let's get that out before it really causes a problem. There 
Rock snag, same one. There that goes. Boy, I got big cookies. Hey, I got a package of gum. I got a rock. Oop. Missed some. So I've been learning with these, uh, bait casters particularly with jigs you want to like let a little bit loose after you get it into the water that way it dives down deep with current like this I don't think it's much of an issue I need one heck of a heavy jig to get anything going with it I'm trying to avoid that rock <laughs> talking to some guys last year and they highly recommended this particular reel especially at the price point it's a good little uh so it's a good one to get already i could tell you don't get the easy caster it's just more of a headache than what it's worth i don't like the build quality either the spindle has like this weird vibration that just works against you Five foot rod is nice, what is this, a five six I believe? Ugly stick is nice for getting in tight areas. And there are advantages to hanging out under a tree. So they're used to uh, watching things fall out of it. Actually saw a little uh, garter snake <laughs> coming down the hill here, just chilling out on some rocks. Had to move him out of the way before I came down, didn't want to slide on him by mistake. It's actually a little island out there. The water level's lower. A lot of guys like going out there uh, with the boat to catch flatheads. quite far enough. I do kind of want to get into this uh, shoreline area. A little bit of a dead zone to the current. And a snag. Come on. Good snag. There we go. I got a popcorn ball. I got a fetch ball. I got a pack of gum. I got a rock. So, as these things go, I kept casting and casting, and everything was working just fine. Until it wasn't. And when a bait caster decides to fight back, well. <laughs> That's why I'm not a fan of these. I can't even see what it's caught onto or how that happened. Actually, when I'm putting this video together, I realized that I overstuffed the reel with line and that would lead this problem to happening. So it's actually not the problem of the reel it was the problem of the user who didn't understand how to line it correctly 
However, for the rest of this video, we're going to pretend that this didn't exist and the jokes will run anyways. If you don't like it, complain on Twitter. Something tightened up, worked its way. Uh. Well, looks like we're going to the light rig. I'm not farting with this. Well, maybe. That's the loop. See, that's why I don't understand. How do these loop? So there's a couple strands. And those couple strands just screwed up everything. I don't know, man. Juice just is not worth the squeeze with these. Everything I could say good about them, then something like this happens and it's just game over. And there was nothing. I wasn't overcasting it, I was thumbing it the whole time. So, I'm going to have to cut, get into that, cut it later. So I switched over to the new uh, telescoping rod and spinning reel. And I'm really a fan of this reel. But that's not part of our story today. That's a story for another time. So we'll get back to that. So I had another guy come down here. He was fishing for a while. And uh, he's uh, saying that the river's too blown out to really do anything. This spot is actually a lot better a little bit later in the year once the water level resides. And uh, that's that. But it's a good uh, equipment test day. I like that spinning reel, uh, telescoping spinning reel. So I'll be definitely be using that again. Then there's this. I don't understand it. I uh, I know you guys swear by these, some of you guys. Uh, I'm gonna have to go with what Harry said here. I'll give it a fair shake again, guys. But as of right now, man, I don't know if the juice is worth the squeeze. Come to think of it, this reminds me of something. The first cast. Switched over to my spinning rig. <laughs> There's a lesson to be learned here. There is a lesson. I don't know what it is yet. I have a bird's nest to get out of that spool before I use it again. If you use it again. If I use it again. <laughs> Till next time, keep on fishing.